What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Return YouTube channel. And yeah, it is a Thursday, and it is April 13th, and uh, we're looking at the numbers for uh, SmackDown Live on Tuesday night with the second part of the two-part of the shakeup in the WWE. The rosters and the ratings went like the 3.1 million viewers plus. Um, really good ratings for SmackDown. Uh, I think it's the best rating they've had since the beginning of the year or the best ratings they've had all year. And uh, it's due to the shakeup of the superstars uh, who went to Raw, who came to SmackDown. Um, you know, I think everybody was anticipating maybe possibly some different stars coming. Uh, but if you, you know, read between the lines and you saw all the, the dirt sheets and the rumors, a lot of them that were predicted to come did come. One was Charlotte. Uh, there was rumors Sasha Bank was going to come. But Sasha did not come to SmackDown Live. Um, but anyway, Alexa Bliss left SmackDown and went to Raw. Uh, I know a lot of my friends don't like Alexa Bliss. I, I think she's one of the best young talents right now that the WWE does have as far as the women's division goes, uh, along with a number. But I think uh, Alexa just stands out above the rest because she puts forth a personality which is explosive. And it's eye catching. So you know, in my eyes, that's you know, that's what you want to see when you're when you're a heel. And I think she's performed her her uh, uh, heel gimmick as good as anybody can. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And like I mentioned previously, Charlotte will probably end up becoming the new SmackDown Women's uh, Champion sooner or later. Um, WWE does cater to her, and. Uh, but guess what? She is a flare. Nonetheless, so, um, you know, I think the loss of Miz and Maurice at the time, I mean, it was poor timing. Good timing for Raw because they have really reached some new heights doing the John Cena and Nikki Bella impersonations. I think everybody loved that. Uh, so that's going to, if they continue that on Monday Night Raw, it's going to be uh, very comical, and people are going to love to see it, because anytime you get a superstar that will gimmick and mimic um, anybody like John Cena, at this stage of his career, the, the fans are going to like it. So, um, getting Kevin Owens, whom I'm sure will be a mainstay on SmackDown for now, uh, was an addition Sami Zayn also was an addition. We got uh, Nakamura, um, which we already knew. Uh, a welcomed addition. Um, I was hoping maybe, though, we might have got the likes of Samoa Joe. Uh, I'm not sure what is going to be uh, his situation on Monday Night Raw. Um, but um, you can bet it's going to be something decent sooner or later. And AJ Styles, a lot of people predicted he was going to go to Monday Night Raw and he was going to end up joining with Gallows and Anderson. And then maybe possibly a heel turn for Finn Balor to get all those guys together. But that didn't happen. And I think right now, uh, AJ is one of those guys, you know, you got to have a star, a uh, superstar of his talent and his quality to uh, be the leader of the brand. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, we have Randy Orton. He's our WWE champion. Randy Orton um, right now is the WWE champion. Uh, but um, I just see somehow that not lasting a real long time. Um, very disappointed in the loss of Baron Corbin in that triple threat match, which I had stated in another video. Uh, I think... Baron Corbin's one of those guys that WWE needs to push. He makes a great heel. But anyway, we lost Dean Ambrose, of course. Um, Dean is Dean, and now you have all three members of the Shield on Monday Night Raw. So there's a possible opportunity there for a, a real Shield reunion if the WWE chooses to do so. 
So again, the swap benefited both brands. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what the storylines come out uh, and and how they use these superstars on the brands. So uh, it does create new uh, matches, different competition. Um, so again, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, one of the reasons why I was really continuing to watch SmackDown Live was because of Alexa Bliss, because I really like her. I, I just She's just fun to watch. She's great on the mic, and she's got a lot of good skills in the ring. So, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, here on this Thursday, I'm going to hit the showers and uh, get ready for school. And I got one more week to go. Three more classes left. Next week is finals. Doing pretty good. Doing real good as well, I should say. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens. So, on that note, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, shakeup and uh, and my thoughts. And um, there you have it. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Peace out, everybody. Everybody, have a great day.